Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to the NASCAR Xfinity Series here on iRacing. This is the B-Fix Series and today we are at Pocono, the Tricky Triangle for what will be a 35 lap race. We are in top split of one split actually, so I guess you can't really call it top split when there's only one split. This track is not that popular throughout the iRacing community. It's just there's so many incidents here and wrecks and caution field races as well as being such a long track in its own right it just means that the caution laps take forever but we are car number two 24 cars so almost almost a full grid so we'll definitely try and qualify this ford mustang as far up the field as possible now i have not done a single practice lap so far going into this race so i have no idea what to expect i've done a lot of practice in the gen 6 cup car but not anything in this B-Fix car so I don't know how this is going to go I don't even know what a quick lap time is so <laughs> just hold on for dear life once again running the Star Trek paint scheme sort of my pop culture fandom hopefully we're going to get some Atlas Simsport liveries on this car before the end of the year but Right now, everyone's so busy at the, in the team, so just keep running this one for now. Alright, here we go. Yeah, could have been quicker onto the straight. Okay, here comes your first time lap. get the exit I wanted. Oh, that was alright. Come on. have to use third or else this car just does not want to turn at all. One more lap. Alright, that could have been could have been a couple of tenths quicker. 54-5, yeah, no, that could have definitely been a couple of tenths quicker. We'll try going again. Oh, this is going to be a fence. Yep. Ow. Rip. So my quickest lap time in practice was a 54.4, and I can do a 54.3 theoretically, but there's no way I'm getting into 53s. Anyway. Not as quick as it should have been. But it's a long race. 35 laps around here is quite a long way, considering each lap's almost a minute, so it's a good 45-minute race. Oh, man. That was slow. You really need to do like laps and laps and laps of practice around here to get this track down. I did three hours worth of practice the other day in the cup car before I felt like I really had the track down in a long run in this in this car. I don't quite know. I think you can gain a lot more, obviously, out of the car than what I just did. But, yeah, no. Still the best of the rest for now. Still got a minute left, so it might get bumped back one position, but if we can just somehow hold on to this guy in the one car, it would be a good race. He didn't quite hit the bottom and then got on the throttle way too early. You can see all that extra racetrack I could have used and so slow out of there. I think turn two, I don't see how I could have yeah, done any quicker. I was dragging the brake. I didn't even realize that that's unfortunate. Definitely felt like I probably couldn't have gone much quicker through here. See, absolutely There's no racetrack on the edge it's of that. Over. Turn three as well. I mean, you could probably get away with using fourth 
in qualifying, but I don't know. I just felt like I couldn't get it turned in practice in the short amount of time that I ran. But we are starting second. It's a big field, so I'm expecting a lot of wrecks. But anyway, now this is something new that I saw the other day. So I, I have actually done an NIS race this week. I know I haven't uploaded on on my channel, but that's because I didn't even make it back to the start finish line before someone wrecked in front of me and we, or well, half the field had nowhere to go. So. I did notice this though, this is pretty neat. So in NASCAR in real life, all the cars sort of start on the angle like this before they leave the leave the grid and they seem to have implemented it on this newly updated Pocono. This track was I think updated over the Christmas break. I can't quite remember but it is a lot better than the old Pocono, that's for sure. The old Pocono was bumpy, it had all these nasty curbs on the, on the apexes of the corners. Here we've got a nice flat smooth surface with no horrible curbs to smash on the inside of the tracks but it still seems to be as messy as ever in regards to the racing aspect right, let's just make sure everything in the background is running okay JRT running sweet So, I'm feeling like you're going to probably have to pit every single caution that comes out, but, well, provided it doesn't come out, like, on lap one, because around here, this track seems to wear the tyres out something horrible. Alright, boogie. One lap to green. Line up on the outside. Bit road is closed. Catch the pace car. Alright, so I do apologise in advance for the slow pace laps and caution laps. Hopefully it doesn't have, well we don't have too many cautions and these guys use their heads, but just skip through those if you don't want to sit through them. I know I don't. <laughs> I would skip through these cautions laps. We need something like a good NASCAR 09 or NASCAR the heat sort of caution thing where it just skips through it, you don't have to ride around. <laughs> Shows you the replay of the caution. You can decide whether you want to pit or not by pressing triangle or whatever it was. Or R2. Yeah. I'd like to have a problem like that. I've only been on here since November. I'm coming. So whatever. Just get ready. Get you where I want you. <laughs> I did get a win this morning at Pocono, 9 o'clock. Alright, here we go. Get ready, going green. Don't pass the blind car. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Pit road is now open. And we're on the way. Interesting. Might try that wider line going into the next one. The next car's the leader. That run down the straight he gets. Right, we'll just sit here in second. All I can do is hope is. Uh, his tyres wear out when he comes back to us because I don't have the long run, I uh, don't have this short run pace, that's for sure. Woohoo! I 
tight, that fence. Whoa. Yeah, I'm terrible in pre four, Scotty. Sorry about that, but I was man. Man, this guy is so what fast. Turn? And nothing. Point yeah. Three, one, two. Turn three and a half. That was a whole lot of curb. Well, we haven't had a caution yet, so that's alright. Three, three and four, I can't figure it out. This guy just launches off it and I can't keep with him. Well, I kept with him that lap. He's probably realized how slow I am and calling it back. Joseph. Yo. FYI, if this race goes green somehow and you're shifting, you're not going to make it on fuel. Just heads up. The yellow flag is out. Line up single <laughs> file. Pit road is closed. Catch the plant. <laughs> Thank car. God for that. <laughs> I was shifting. <laughs> yeah, I'll Hey Scotty, I was gonna let you go there, man. We got different breaking points. I wasn't trying to mess your shit up there. Okay, well that explains a lot. <laughs> you can only shift for three laps, and then you have the fourth gear the rest of the way if it goes green, or you'll run out. And even then, you'll barely make it. Uh, did you did you find that out the hard way, or did someone else tell you that one? <laughs> What'd you figure it out? Uh, I almost found it out the hard way. I was like ripping through gears eight laps, you know, into the race. The first race I did in the week, and someone opened their mouth and said something. I looked at my fuel, and I was like three laps short. So I just clutched it the rest of the way. I'm between one and two. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thanks for the heads up, mate. Yeah, no problem. Even even now, we have a caution with five to go, getting fuel. It'll still be, still can't go all the way, like with shifting, it's kind of stupid, but. Yeah, I know, I, I just, I cannot save my right front to s save my life, so, <laughs> it's just like looking for rotation. Yeah, it's hard to turn with no, sh no gear change. Yeah, a lot of rear brake, for sure. I'm going to need it now. Pit Road is now open. Just trying to think. Yeah, because in the cup car you can only make it like 30 laps on fuel. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to see my spot. I'm not going to bother racing this one car. He's, he's way too quick for me. Maybe on the long run we'll see, but right now there's no point in it. Oh! Oh my god! Oops! Major rookie! Yeah, I was, wasn't paying attention. I, I totally lost where I was at. I thought the 11 sign was mine. That's a good thing. <laughs> Go, go, go! Oh my god. I totally forgot how hard it is to slow the car down from 55 miles an hour versus like 35. Oh my god, that makes me want to vomit. I just stopped too soon. Two guys stayed out, one guy, oh one guy stayed out, two guys took two. Yeah, he was sitting half in my pit and half in the other guy was sitting there and I was like, 
And he's like, oh man. Holy shit, where where even am I? I'm like in nine. That's not as bad as overshooting it by a stall. <laughs> That's what I did. Actually, I may just clutch and coast. Oh yeah, I overshot it by two stalls. I was worried about getting booted for backing up through too many stalls. Or I could drop to the back. I had, had the 11 signboard in my sight there, man. I forgot what number I was. Uncle Ricky do that to you, Sean. Yeah, yeah, you gotta stay away from Uncle Ricky sometimes. I gotta get you all tripped up. We got well, we got 30 laps here left. We'll <laughs> oh definitely God. get a qu I'll be another caution. Down, dude. I can't see us not getting I'm another caution. I'm sure portion. I lost. 10 positions at least. Wow, the four. No, they're pitting again, I was going to say. Danny, we was in, I was in the first one race. Left I was, to uh, Line up on the outside. First official I raced, I was in with you, and uh, right, it was it went green the whole way. Remember that one? It was all like a fuel mileage thing. Yep. Yeah, just a couple of days ago. Yep. This is gonna be nuts. Oh my god, just please I don't hit anyone, Joseph. 14. I, I can't count that high without taking my shoes off, so I lost a bunch. Yeah, that'll happen, man. Right, well, I've coasted it the last couple of laps, so we should. Needed one more person to sign up for this race, and it would have split. Look. 20. <sighs> Lord. 28 laps when it goes green. Take it so. easy, boys. Jesus. This is going to be scary. This is going to be a shit show. I can just. I can just tell. Yeah, showing that new leap we're running tonight. Daytona just, tonight. I feel like, like someone's going to hit the wall coming off of turn one and we're all just going to play out into the. I just put my banner on today. For USRL? I don't know how to do all that crap yet. Alright, here we go. Yeah, for USRL. Yeah, that. Get ready, going green. In the reckoning race, you like. I don't know. They never told me why I got picked, but I got picked. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Oh. Oh. The car inside. I had nowhere to go. Keep high. Whoa. Sorry. Stay high. Looking where There's I was a going. car on the low side. Clear inside. Outside. Stay low. I call that the flip flap. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Baby, stay low. Clear. Nice. Nice job, mate. God damn, it's so bumpy. Well, it's not bumpy, but these cars just once. Oh, someone's dead. They reckon. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Bit road is closed. Pass the pace car. Catch the 19. Gotta go car. around the field, guys. Wow, uh, just after those four when laps, I shift, when I shift, and I totally pooch through the first turn on, uh, you know, getting in the throttle. Catch the 19 car. Yeah, it's always going to handle better here when you shift. The setup's tight as shit, and downshifting, you get more drive in the rear, so you turn with the rear instead of the front. You're going to be lining up behind the six? Yeah, the engine brake is big, but the shift, man, I just had got it figured out. The 19 car. So also creates more straightaway speed. Yes, no doubt. 97 on the right front after just three laps. That's I've holy never shit tried. holes. To save this right front. I practiced in the 80 cars today for a little while, man. I watched a couple of guys that were at the top of the chart, man. And it's, uh, you gotta have it figured out, dude. 
Come on down, let's get them. Place really isn't that hard to get around. No, it's not. I love it. I mean, it's, this, this track, that's why there's only one split, man. This track weeds out all nine hackers, man. Now, I've been part of ride racing for how many years now? Quite a few years, long time. And this is my first race ever on the street paved Pocono, so I'm learning. And then Daniel's taking me to school. Daniel takes everybody to school, dude. That, that guy is a beast. That's all right. As long as I can learn and be at least competitive here, because I feel like I, like I am special with two tires. Yep, same here, man. I mean, there's always going to be somebody out there that's faster than you are. I raced with Daniel quite a few times. Yeah, man, he's got to figure it out. Dude. You don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about wrecking around it because <laughs> you can't catch him. Uh, he's just not. He's just not an asshole. He's, he's pretty good. There's guys who are uh, who brag about how fast Let's they are. Nineteen kind of car bomb. Be loaded, I don't like that. Oh, dude, I'll tell you, man, the higher the I rating, the bigger dickhead they are most of the time, 99% of the time, man. That's why I like racing in the B classes like this, dude, because you get from the A classes and the big one, uh, you know, everybody thinks they're fucking Dale Hart. Dale Hart. Yeah, I never really thought he was a good racer, man. Dale Hart Jr. Oh, yeah. If anybody does like actual research, Arnhart then always wrecks his drivers, <laughs> like intentionally. I didn't mean to wreck him. Just meant to rattle his cage, though. <laughs> and just meant to intimidate him. That's controversy right there. Now they got bigger problems. Yeah, they can't get asses in the seat. They price themselves out of it again, just like they always do. Well, no, they're, they're selling. New owners of uh, NASCAR is going to come from somebody from iRacing. <laughs> They've been trying to sell it, but, you know, think about that for a minute. How many individuals in the world do you think have the money to make such a purchase? And if somebody did have that much money to make that purchase, you don't think they'd buy it and shut it down, do you? They don't think. Yeah, guys, did listen to my buddy Conrad there, man. He uh, he's an insider. He works for Joe Gibbs. <laughs> got to figure it out. Is Disney gonna buy NASCAR? Show. <laughs> I think I'd be surprised on all what Conrad said. <laughs> Disney World's gonna bid on it here in Orlando. One take the Disney money to get it, though. Outside. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean, you know, there's only a handful of situations that could even afford to buy it, and if they do, you know, they're they're not going to just throw that money away, they're going to try to make it work. Yeah, they need to go back to the cars that they had in like 02 and 03 and 04, that was so cool. Yeah, when actually a body hanger was a skilled fabricator instead of just a panel assembler. Yep, amen. And they're all good. they're going to the composite bodies, dude, where they get the panels from. I mean, you know this, y'all. They get the panels from NASCAR. I can't believe it's taken them this long to do it. That's actually not necessarily such a good thing. It's kind of that moves it more towards IROC, and IROC, you saw what happened to it. You know, everybody don't want to see the same cars going around the track. And they buy big bodies from five. Those bodies come from five star, but they're NASCAR approved. They still come from five star. Yeah, man, that's that, that, uh, I'm I'm with you on that one, bro. Well, I mean, if there's no wreck, there's no severity of wreck. It's all the safety, 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 and people just don't want to pay the money for it. 
Well, these, these are the best drivers and the best cars built in the world, man. They, they don't drive in the wreck. Uh, What's funny is it's worked for this long, but every time they make a change is when it when when it starts getting worse. It worked the way it was ready. for so Still long. Green. Stop messing with it. Okay, I'm I'm shutting up. Let's go green. <laughs> The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. You're in fourth position. Sorry, Scott. What's up, dude? dude? Who's here? The car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear you outside. That high side works. When you get it right. Gonna sit here. I, I know I can't catch the leader, so I'm just gonna wait for these guys to do that. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside. Car outside. Keep low. Keep low. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. You're backing second. Still there. Clear. Alright. Save this front. I guess that's one way to pass the car. Marco, they should give me room there, bro. Try not to force the right front into the ground. I am using a sort of sharper steering ratio, so I don't really the best idea to go flooring it off the corners like that in third. The yellow flag is out, oh, come line on, up, guys. single file. Pit road sort is closed, out. catch the plant car. 20 more laps. Don't look now, but I'm tail grabbing your ass. Hey, Tanner, you got a copy, buddy? Back up, dude. Okay, just back off. I don't do well under pressure. <laughs> Yeah, I screwed you up down there in, uh, in turn two there, 19. I started washing up the hill and made contact with you. I knew you were on my outside. My bad. I kind of thought it was my bad, man. I didn't mean to damn get into it like I did. But we, I didn't get nothing out of it. I hope you didn't either. Yeah, I was just trying to hang on my position. And I'm like, screw it. And back down turn one. And I let you and the uh, two car uh, get by me there. Decided right a higher line. I'm on two tires. I was trying to hang on to this thing. Just trying to learn. But that, I thought that was my fault down turn two, because I knew I was drifting up. Nah, you all good, man. I just expected she was all right, man. I know I dashed you a little bit in the rear end about it. Didn't mean to, but I know okay. I didn't get you hard enough to get no uh, axes on it. So. Definitely get away with two tires around here. Look, that loose Sorry, left side's barely been touched after that three lap run, but I'm gonna pick I just now. don't know why we get so many cautions here. I'm kind of shocked. It's actually an easy, really easy racetrack to drive. And this is my first time all week. First time at, ever at this now week, babe. Open. It's because of the SOF, man. Yep. 
the worst SOF I've been in all week. I don't know. Oh, nailed it the second time round. <laughs> If anyone else will take too tight, too tight. No, it looked like it. We're done. Get going. <laughs> Line up single file. Now I'm just going to cool this engine down because I'm not sure if the actual engine overheats as well. I know it overheats it. Um, at Martinsville, if you use the too much. Maybe if uh, my daughter's graduation gets done early enough that you do come down for us to do your rig, you can take care of my banners and all that crap. Oh yeah, no doubt. It, it will, I'll show you how to do it, man. It's no trouble at all. All right, still got what 18 laps to go this time by, so catch the one. Can actually get some racing in. Be nice. It's my new scheme here, so. Yeah, I found it the other day. It looks all right. <laughs> Seventeen at thirty-five. Yeah, we're running Daytona tonight, dude. Pumped up. Sky doesn't pit, then this is going to yeah, be very I interesting. Oh my god. I mean, I'd love to do it if I, if I had a car ready. I mean, maybe after this, you can. We can get on the phone and I can get it figured out. Maybe I can run that race tonight. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. Yeah, man, we can do that. This is going to be fun. So it was good when the guy who's screaming black a little while ago and the whole car's torn to shit and stayed out. Good feeling. <laughs> is this front end done? No. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm getting ready to pump this nine car. Hey, it'll be some repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch yourself, dude. Okay, I see you. I see you. Okay. I know you do. Now, I can't see you right now. Get three or four cars back. <laughs> That's a lie, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Jeff, you better watch yourself right here behind this 13, man, on this restart. I do apologize in advance if it goes three wide into turn one. You didn't, didn't do anything. It's definitely going to be three wide. Get ready, yeah, no, that's going not, green. That's not a grace car, dude. Come on, man. I just hope he's in second gear. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. I just got a fucking 4X. That's awesome. You're on the bottom. Three wide. The next car's the leader. Oh, oh, car outside. Two wide. Let's see a land. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Still there. Clear. Car outside. Stay low. Still there. Yeah, I got a 4X. I'm going to be going back there. in here. Hold back Clear outside. I wasn't going to bother fighting the one on turn one. I felt like he'd probably get the exit on the high side anyway. The yellow flag is out. Oh, Line come up. on, Single guys. Fire. Seriously? Good run, guys. Good, good ring flag run there. 
Yeah. You know what? I got to go back to what Daniel was saying. I don't think that has nothing to do with uh, the strength of the field. I think it's the Come lack on, of practice yeah. and don't know how to drive the track. I know disabled people who are, you know, disabled and know how to drive this track and not wreck. Disabled. That's a very political term there, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> Pitch car off one, check it up. I hope nobody was offended by that statement, but... Yeah, no, I don't give a... Man, I don't get offended, dude. Yeah, no reason for you to apologize. If, if that right there is the biggest problem you gotta worry about every day when you wake up, if somebody hurts your precious fucking snowflake feeling, then I'd say you got life pretty good. Mate. So, to wake up, what am I going to be offended about today? I'm a millennial, so I'm offended by that statement. Can you please take that back? I absolutely will not. <laughs> but I am enjoying racing with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've been, you've been cool, but your generation... I'm, right. I'm holding now up my I middle will. finger right now, dude. I'm not saying anything else. Not, I don't want to be negative. <laughs> oh, he's on here racing. He, he ain't nothing wrong with that guy. He just, <laughs> he just being funny. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm holding up the middle finger to my own generation as well. Don't you worry. Speed road is closed. I knew you were. Amen. I just freaking drove through the grass and gave myself a 1x. That's beautiful. That's that's great skill and determination right there. I know, I damn near did the same thing down turn 3. <laughs> I was sending a text. Next thing I know, I'm about 10 feet below the curb. Actually, wait, I was born in 1997, so technically that means I'm not a millennial. <laughs> I just realized what I said. It just Holy crap, sense. man. 24 car in here is a 464i rating. Right on. How are you seeing people's i rating whilst you're racing? Uh, it's a program I use for timing and whatnot. It's called Joel Real Timing. I run it on my second monitor. Gives me all of your guys' speeds, lap times, how long it took you to pit, all that nice stuff. How much fuel I need. I can run that on an Android device, can I not? And what's the name of it again? I run the same thing as Daniel. No, it's a different, different thing. It's called Joel's Real Timing. Is it, uh... Where did you get it? One left to green. Like or uh, I can't or, or whatever that other one is. No, it's not an app, it's a website. Just look up uh, Joel Real Timing. It's pretty easy to set up. I do use that. So if you run trips, what does it do? Just become a window on one side? Yeah, I mean, I only use one monitor and then I have a second one just for this timing screen, but I guess you could set up another one technically. So pretty much you you download the software and then you open it up in a browser and you sort of put it to your local LAN network and it and it brings up a timing screen. You can set what different stats you want to see and it also can give you live telemetry on the car. Yep. Sweet. Check that out. It also can uh a lot, I use it f not for oval racing, but for GT and, and open wheel stuff. You can set it to um, take only like stop refueling at a certain point during the pit stop. So it, 
you set it to go one lap longer than the end of the race and and then it'll instead of like having to work it out yourself you just set it to one lap over the race and it, and it will only fill up to that point so you can get a short amount of pit stop as a uh, short, well, short amount of pit stop time as possible of course progress Get ready, going green, don't pass the plant car. Don't really need it in oval racing because you want the car to be as full of fuel as possible with these tight setups. The pace car is in, green flag, green flag. Mid road, now over, we'll see what you're other... back in second, the next car is the leader. Running. Cannot see my damn apexes when you're so close to this guy. Alright, hopefully we can get a nice little green flag run here, that'd be nice. Come on, dude. Yeah, sorry. I didn't realize you're down there. Well, you nailed that. God damn. It's so hard to see that corner being so flat. These cars are so high up in the air. It really blocks out a lot of your reference points. I want to dive it into the corner and, and try and race it, but we've still got 10 laps to go, and around here, on a normal track, it's like a good 20-25 lap run, so... Start sorting this turn 2 out. Woo, that was close to the fence. Ah, lost another tenth on that lap, come on. You got 10 laps to go. I got a bad push from that 4X, man, so whatever. It's like every time I lose a tenth, I can't make it back. Fifteen, you're blinking it out really bad. Joseph, that was horrible. I need more practice. It's a temp looking, it's not bad. Oh, 
that's a fence. Ah! Ugh. Problem is, he made a mistake as well, so I could have made some ground up on there. God damn it. Come on, come on, come on. I am driving like shit today. Way too hard into the corner. Let me try doing that a little bit more. God, if I could hit that apex once in a blue moon, that'd be lovely. I don't know if I got any damage. I don't think so. Problem is, the safer barriers stick out so far here. They like stick out all the way to the right to the end of the corner. As they should, I suppose. Ah, god damn it. Can I not fuck up the corner for once in a... That turn two is just gonna be the death of me, I swear. I did three hours of practice in the cup car the other day and I thought it would somehow translate into this, but I couldn't have been more wrong. I hate the cup car here this week. You get a good lap time out of it and just struggle to get the balance of it on the long run. I did the first NIS, well, first, like, big strength of field NIS race the other night. Didn't even make it back to the start finish line before getting wrecked out. Some guy hit the wall coming off a of four on that one and that was it. Nowhere to go. Yeah, you'll get that. Before I stop racing in IS. You've got five left to go. Yeah, I was thinking about stopping it, but I decided to stick with it and just run the fix instead of running the fix down the open, and now, this year, I've had six wins so far, so I'm going to continue with it. So I'm just thinking whether I should change down to second you do, man. or third for that second corner. I just got back on here a month, like a month, then a week ago. Took a year off. The new tire model, even though it sucks, it's actually made made the fix racing a lot better. Yeah, it's stupid in the open though. Camber stuff's just dumb. Alright. See if we can get these last four or three, three or four laps half decent. I'm 
I'm, go I'm just driving in too hard. I know, I, I know what I'm doing wrong, I just can't tell my brain to do it. <laughs> Drive out in there, Lohan. Yep. I'm glad I was worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how much did we lose that lap? It was felt slightly better, but no, it still lost three tenths. Bro, I am so shit! I'm so shit at this track in this car. It's just no bueno. I can feel my, my right front's just absolutely fucked. Well, it's not absolutely fucked, but it's royally fucked. Damn, I, I need to, I just need to get it turned in earlier for that corner. Smith fence. Bruh. You just got Please. the white flag. That means one more lap to go. I'm just so bad. Fuck, I thought I came off earlier that time and it still didn't make the apex. Just overdriven this right front tire and it's just begging me to stop. Alright. Well, that's all, folks. Second place, I'll take that. There's the flag, there it's is. over. I'll take a top three on my first outing. Great job, you did really well. Good race in the third time. Uh, we were pretty close there for a while. I actually thought you were going to get Alright, well there it is. Second place here at Pocono. Not bad. I mean, we could have... Could have driven a lot better, but I'll take... I'll take second on not much practice if... if just need to around here. It's so hard to tra get the track down with without doing a proper couple of hours of practice. I mean, the tricky triangle is what it's known as, and a tricky triangle it is. So, all right, well, stay tuned for the NIS race. I'm going to be running that tonight, where hopefully we can last a little bit longer than what we did the other day, and get another top ten. Well, top ten in top split, which is what we seem to be running each week now, would be nice. If we're in split two, then obviously we need a need to get a win. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned, and until next time, I'll catch you later.